Namaskara. I am Dr. Harihar Murthy and I am practicing as an ENT specialist in Koromangala in Bangalore. Unilateral obstruction of the nose, which means a person is not able to breathe from one side of the nose, is a rather common problem that many people face. One of the reasons for that is a very simple deviation of the septum. In children, it can be because of a foreign body in the nose. Because foreign bodies are usually put in one side of the nose only, there can be an obstruction to the air passage. Children normally don't complain about it, but nonetheless, it's the cause for obstruction on one side. Adults, because of deviation of septum, so there can be hypertrophy turbinates, which are the normal tissues in the nose, which can increase in size, as a result of which you can have an obstruction and uh, polyps which are there because of repetitive infections or allergies can cause obstructions as a result the nose is blocked. Apart from that there can be congenital obstruction because of a quinal atresia. It's a very rare problem but nonetheless it can be there wherein the air passage is blocked at the rear end of the nose. So there's a membrane which is covering the passage as a result of which air is not flowing through that side. Usually bilateral, so it can be unilateral too. There can be hypertrophy in the back of the nose due to the adenoid being enlarged, as a result of which there's an obstruction. Apart from that, there can be growths like tumors which grow in the back of the nose which can cause an obstruction to one side. So there are multiple reasons why there can be a blocked nose causing difficulty in breathing from one side of the nose. So treatment can be done for all of them most, and it essentially requires that you are evaluated by an ENT specialist in your area to make sure what is the cause for it. This can be a clinical examination or it may need to undergo an endoscopy. Further sometimes we may need to do a imaging study like a CT scan or an MRI which may be required. So these are sufficient investigations and clinical evaluations which will identify the cause for the obstruction thereby identifying it so that it can be treated.